Okay, so first today you are going to have this inferencing sheet. And it is, says, whose locker is this? So what you're going to do is you're going to review the list of items found in the middle school locker below. And then based on the contents, make inferences about who owns the locker. So our list is black football cleats. Four textbooks, math, science, literature, and social studies. Two crumpled papers, a detention slip, and a welcome to 7th grade ELA syllabus. A note from Sarah Reynolds on the top shelf. Baseball cards taped inside the locker. Candy bar wrappers. A picture of three boys, all different ages, at the beach. A winter coat and hat. Okay. So, you're going to use this sheet, and you're going to use this area down here, and the back of your paper if you need to, to brainstorm some of your ideas or some of your inferences that you are making about who this person is and whose locker this is. After you brainstorm those ideas and those inferences, then you are going to write two paragraphs on a piece of notebook paper about whose locker this is. So you have plenty of information here to pull from to help you tell why you believe whoseever locker it is and how you came to that conclusion, okay? So you're gonna write two paragraphs about whose locker this is and why you believe it is their locker based off of the information that you were given, okay? So first, you're using this sheet to brainstorm in this area down here. Some of your inferences about who it could be and some things about their life because you're going to have to write about that in your paragraphs and maybe what grade they're in, who some of these people are, things like that. Okay, what sports they play, what time of the year it is. Think about that. And you can use the back of your paper as well. Then after you have completed this paper and written your two paragraphs on your piece of notebook paper about whose locker this is, then you're going to get this paper, an inferencing paper, and you are going to read the paragraph, and then you're going to answer the inferencing questions about the paragraph, okay? As you read through this paragraph, you need to underline context clues or keywords or information that you believe is important as you go through it. That way, whenever you answer the questions, you will have already had things underlined that you believe is an important thing to remember or important detail or important context clue, okay? So as you go through and read this, you need to make sure you underline things that you believe are important and that might help you answer the inferencing questions, okay? Now, once you're done with this paper and your two paragraphs, so you're going to have two paragraphs, remember, where you're going to write about whose locker this is and give me information about that. Make sure that you use your writing checklist that's on the wall and think about our hamburger paragraphs because you're going to have two separate paragraphs about whose locker this is okay you're going to turn this paper and your piece of notebook paper with your two paragraphs into the turn-in tray and after you finish that you're going to complete this paper and underline things that we think are important and answer the questions as best we can and then you're going to turn that into the turn-in tray. After you have finished all three of those things, because once again, you're doing this paper first, then you are writing two paragraphs on a piece of notebook paper about whose locker this is. Then you're doing this paper. You're turning all of that in with your name on them. Then you are going to go to your flow vocabulary and see if you need to redo or finish. 
So some of you have it reassigned to you because you need to redo it. So you need to see if you need to redo or finish your parts of speech vocabulary from Monday. If you have finished all of that, including your vocabulary, then what you can do is on the board at the very bottom. 